afternoon everyone today I'm going to show you how a typical home looks like in Germany so for those of you who don't know me I'm Robert Bauer and I live and work in China and I am just here on holiday in Germany to visit my old man who is a German citizen and so on and uh, so this is the outside of the house now Sneindorf is a very small town so when my family was still living in South Africa we came here on holiday once to Germany and we realized that we have a lot of family here in our Sneindorf uh, a lot of family living in that area right there and up the road and all around the town so what happened is my father got this house for a bargain because it was very old it was livable but a little bit run down it pretty much looked like those buildings there in the background okay so you had bare brick uh, bare concrete um, and it looked kind of nice but he spent a lot of money renovating the place and a lot of old people worked on this that was the age of, of the workers. So let's go inside. So I'm only going to show you the first floor today because that's where we live. At the other floors at the top, we have people living there. So this is how a typical German home looks like. Let's start with the lounge and the kitchen. Now the thing is what you need to know about Germany is that the kitchens don't come included in the house when you buy it. Alright. So when you move a house, you must take the kitchen with you. Alright. Uh, and then the next owner will bring their kitchen from their previous house. So actually the kitchen is seen as furniture in Germany. The cupboards, uh, the stove, everything together. Okay, that's just German culture. And German living rooms are generally very warm. All right, so think of maybe like in America, up north, you will find double glazed windows. You'll find a Christmas tree, even though it's not Christmas. You'll find a nice fireplace. All right with some wood on standby for when you need to make a fire and then all these decorations are just basically decorations that we've gathered during our stay in South Africa and from China and all over that we've collected through the years so some of it's just things that we've bought and then some of it has sentimental value like maybe it was gifts from someone and so on uh, the ironic thing is we have a lot of alcohol in the house but nor my father or myself drink so a lot of the alcohol actually ends up being expired a German bathroom looks like any other bathroom you have a wash basin a shower and so on now the thing is in Germany you pay for the water that you use but you also pay for drainage so what happens is uh, in the sewers or down at the drain the municipality or the council actually puts meters in so you have to pay for the water that you drain away that is a tax and even the gutters that you have on your roof uh, ends up in a drain with a meter so you pay a lot more when it rains a lot and this is my bedroom or you can say the spare bedroom because I don't officially live here so I can come here when I come here once every few years I live here and there's some photos of my father's younger days when we had a farm in South Africa but that's a whole different history an old grandpa clock and some paintings so a typical German bedroom looks like uh, in Germany 
what you do have is that the bedrooms have two beds okay and um, so you don't finding a double bed is very uncommon you have two single beds put next to each other and this is how most couples sleep in Germany I don't know the reason why maybe just as a joke it's got to do with East and West Germany so maybe if your wife is from the East and you are from the West you must have a divide <laughs> uh, I honestly don't know I think maybe in in the later generation like our, our generation the X generation and the Z generation maybe we'll opt for a normal double bed but uh, today German people usually especially the older generation uh, like the baby boomers they use two separate single beds and they just join it together which makes actually an uncomfortable uh, sleep I would say and so German German houses are usually full of decorations and for example this is our family tree starting from my grandmother on my father's side and then it just uh, basically it includes everyone and these are the type of things that you'll find in a German home so clocks photos photo albums etc and no proper German home is complete without a spooky basement okay so let's go in the basement Okay, so this basement has also been renovated. Now, customarily, the older houses have basements in Germany. And most of the basements are utility places. So you have gas tanks and gas heaters, uh, or oil heaters, big oil heaters that heat the whole house. Or you'll find... Um, they'll store things in there or typically what they do is they turn the basement into a big sort of bar area to entertain friends um, which could be nice if you're interested in drinking and partying but like I said before my father and myself we don't really drink we don't really entertain a lot of people so this is what my father decided to do with his basement is to have a sort of makeshift gym and a lot of this equipment he got from gyms in the area that were throwing out the equipment uh, to put in new equipment and modernize their gym and you know a lot of this equipment he got for free or he got it for really really cheap so we've got a tv in here that works and that sort of thing so sometimes my family members come here to gym my father decided to turn this place into like a, a chill area like a second lounge which very relaxing actually and then in this side we have a sauna so let me switch the light on here yeah? Yeah, a little private sauna here. Yeah. And then there's where the heat comes from, with the rocks and all of that. And then if you are finished with the sauna, you can take a shower here. Yeah. And then if you need to use the bathroom, there is a, a toilet here yeah, with a basin or a sink but um, I don't really like showering yeah or using the bathroom unless it's absolutely necessary because all the water that you drain here has to be pumped up again because it's a basement water goes down so you actually end up paying a lot of money for the drainage because you're paying for the money uh, you're paying money for the water you drain that you also have to pay for the electricity to pump the water back up so hmm that is Germany for you uh, and then yeah 
just some some photos of when my dad ran the comrades back in I think the 1988 and 1987 the comrades is a like a big marathon in South Africa that is from Port Elizabeth I think uh, or Petersburg, Petersburg to, to Durban. So it's about 80 kilometers, 87 kilometers, 90 kilometers. It changes sometimes. So he finished it four times, but he tried running it uh, seven times. So it is a difficult race. So these other rooms are used for storage. I've never been in them. Because it's actually used for storage for the people that are living here. So, I'll show you the outside now. Because typically a German house doesn't really come with a garden. It usually comes with like community gardens. But again, houses are expensive in Germany. But if you buy it in a town that doesn't even have a supermarket, you can get a big property for very cheap. So we have a community park, carport, yeah, for, for my father's car and for the people who, who are renting here. And a nice little lawn. And yeah, we have a, a place to chill in the summer and drink coffee and maybe have a barbecue or a grill. Uh, it's a little bit dirty because we don't use it in the winter. Some more grass. Now what's interesting is back in the day, this is a very old house. It's from the 1800s. And these used to be the stables. And they were in a mess when my father got the place. And he renovated this quite extensively. And today they are used as outer storerooms where we store some wood and tools and that sort of thing. There's another little barbecue area, and yeah, we have the garage. And so my father likes to go skiing in Ukraine, because Ukraine is a very cheap country, and in Germany, it didn't even snow this year, so... That's very sad, actually, because even as a young lad, I remember in winter, this place used to be covered with snow. Uh, now, I'm walking around in flip-flops. Even though I have a beanie on and some multiple layers of clothing, I'm not really that cold. And I'm from South Africa, where it doesn't snow. So that just comes to show how bad it is. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the movie of the typical German home and here we go.